I tested three open source game engines. Here's what I learned from the fastest option to the option with the best graphics. In Armory 3D, Up Blender Game Engine, and Godot, I created roughly the same 3D game based on the gameplay of Baldur 2D. Baldur 2D is a simple 0G game where you can grab walls, jump off walls, and shoot. Ironically, Baldur was originally going to be 3D before the dev scaled it down to be a 2D game. Armory 3D was the first game engine I really took the time to learn. As a developer who writes mostly Python code, the node-based logic was a big turnoff for me. I always considered any graphical language to be less powerful or not worth my time. After learning Armory, I was proved wrong. It's actually a very powerful, if a bit clumsy, programming format. Once you understand what the nodes do, wiping out a bit of game logic with just a few nodes can be very fun. What ultimately drove me away from Armory was the bugs. One such bug is I can't seem to get sound working without resorting to building a full release of the game. But when you do build the game, the performance is excellent. I mean, just look at this gameplay. Here's a hundred enemies, and Armory has no issue with all those AIs and laser balls. 200 is too much, but I bet you could get even more with a bit of tuning. The graphics are okay, but they're not as good as other engines I tested. Models inside of Blender tended to look a lot different in-game, resulting in a lot of time tuning. Armory 3D has the best set of exportable platforms. From the web, to console, to mobile, this has you set up. Next, I gave the Up Blender game engine a go. I decided to use logic nodes inside of Up Blender game engine because they were similar to Armory with one massive advantage. These nodes can execute Python scripts that can do anything within your game. One downside to the Up Blender game engine nodes is logic seems to be forced to be handled per frame rather than at a trigger. Compared to Armory 3D, the nodes are clumsy and a bit harder to use, but they're still effective. Another big advantage to Up Blender game engine is the ability to use geometry nodes. These can come in handy for things like terrain generation. Performance seems to be completely usable for smaller numbers, but at around 30 AIs, the game really starts to struggle. Though bits could be redone in a more efficient way, the performance is what drove me to look for something else. Because this is built directly into Blender and utilizes the Blender rendering framework, the games look just how you made them modeling. The graphics in Up Blender Game Engine is the best of all three game engines I tested. The big downside is the complete lack of 2D tools like basic buttons and menus. In other words, you have to use 3D assets to build out your menus. Exporting is limited. You can run your games on Mac, Windows, and Linux. Next, I tested Godot. My main reason for avoiding Godot was because of the use of GD script. I wanted to write Python code or no deal. Fortunately, working with the other game engines broke me of my stubbornness. So, I swallowed the GD script shaped pill. After using GD script, I realized why the developers of Godot made it instead of using a pre-built option like Python or Lua. GD script is built for games. Vectors, colors, and game objects are first class. While everything is still object oriented, the keyword self is nowhere to be seen as it's implied by being attached to a game object. GD script is just like Python if Python were rewritten for game dev. Godot was the fastest of all the engines I tested, buttery smooth gameplay with normal numbers of AIs, and it can handle 100 AIs just fine. Like with Armory, 200 was about the limit. I already have a few ideas on how to limit the number of active script, which could increase the AI count a lot. Graphics are on par with Up Blender Game Engine, but with a disadvantage of things looking slightly different when imported from other tools like Blender. Godot lets you export to Mac, Windows, Linux, mobile, and the web. Better than Up Blender Game Engine, but not as good as Armory 3D. Overall, I had a lot of fun learning these engines. Armory is a good starting place and has excellent node logic, perfect for someone hesitant to dive into programming but still wanting to learn game dev. Armory also has a very good set of export platforms. The Up Blender game engine has all the power of Blender and Python at your fingertips, perfect for a Python fanatic like I used to be. Godot is well-rounded with decent performance, perfect for making bigger games. Godot also has a lot of community plugins, some of which are crazy amazing. Like always, this is free software and you can find the links in the description below. Thanks for watching. Bye.